Yeah, man, what's up, my purples? Welcome to the black hole. My name is Blast Beats. Welcome to the here. A lot of people have been asking me how to avoid the clips. I made a lot of videos about how to use the clips, but the clips have been somewhat of a little bit confusionalizing for some people. So I'm going to try one more time to clarificationalize it. Yeah. yeah. Number one best way is to stay in the ideas view for a while before you start arranging your shit there. Because the clips, they cannot live in the ideas view. Let's have a look see here. See, you see any clips here? Nope. Clips cannot live here. So my advice is make two, three, four patterns, you know what I'm saying? If you're not in the arrangement stage anyways yet, you might as well stay in the ideas view. And then as we move into the song view, number two, here is the most critical. You cannot overlook this. If you've done the entire course, you already know your way around this. I stress this a lot. You need to keep tabs of it, whether you're in the section view or the clip view in the song view. As long as you're in section here, if section is activated, you can't go wrong. It is very hard to go wrong because when I press pattern here right now, what I'm controlling is patterns. It's just like the old, just like the old way of working the machine. It's usually the people who have been using machine for a while before these clips came into the picture. Here's causing a massive confusion right about around here. You know what I'm saying? This is the most important. Make sure you're in section view and not in clip view. Because when you're in clip view here, now the pattern button operates clips. Section view operates patterns. Now you should be good. My suspicion here for, for the little bit more old school users is that behind the scenes, you might have it set to clip mode here, but you don't, you're not actually operating with this window open, with the ideas view, song view, but baton or arranger as it's called on the Mark III. It might be activated in here behind the scenes and you're out here and now you're in this group, you're trying to create a pattern here, you're pressing this, make a new one and God damn it, there's another clip there. This can be a little bit confusing because when I hold this section button down right here, see, if, if we're in song mode, this means section. If we're in ideas view, it means scene. You just have to keep your eyes on the controller and see what's going on there. If I press create here now, I'm gonna make a new section. I'm not actually making a new scene. This section has to be populated by a scene first. So in that case, it might be easier actually to just grab a scene that we already have and duplicate it because now I know for sure we made a new scene and it's duplicated. Then I also know for sure that we're working with patterns here. So you also be very vigilant when you're pressing this, see if it says pattern or clip. And if it says clip, then you probably need to first have a scene here or you need to go into the song view and make sure that section and not clip is selected here. So again, some repetitionalizing of this. An advice here is if you're creating stuff from scratch in the arranger or the song view as it's called now, start off with this window open so you see what you're doing. Make sure that section is selected here. When you create a new section right there and a new pattern, you should be good to go. And when you're doing it in here now, it works kind of like before ideas view even came into the picture. So this is actually one step closer to the more faster and better and gooder, you know what I'm saying? As long as you have a section created first in here, in the song view, let's make a new section. Boom. All right. And it sets a section not clip. We're safe to get the fuck out of here. Close that menu and now we can create a new pattern in one of the groups. No problem. No engine blue. We can also straight from here just duplicate the scene like that. And we're still with the patterns. We're still, we're, we're still, th this is like working in the old ways, you know what I'm saying? Now, let's take a look in a computer ordinator device to how it looks in the software because that's been causing a lot of confusion as well. All right, check them around. So the patterns, they're a little bit more gray. Yes, why are they gray? That's a question I get a lot as well. Why are my patterns gray now? 
they just are. They're a little bit more grain now. The, the clips, I guess it's Native Instruments way of telling us that uh, this, the patterns are to be made in the ideas view and this is the, this is the song view and we want you to use the clips here. So the clips are more uh, apparent. Before when you wanted to make a new pattern here in a s empty slot in a group of a scene, you would just double click it. And now what the fuck is going on? It's making a clip. That's the way it works now. Whenever you do this, double click, this is a no-no. Because when we take a look at the controller again, let's go into the song view. What happened? It switched over to the clip mode automatically. This is the this 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 is the bad guy right here. For a lot of you guys, this is probably the bad guy. Because now what happens? We're back in here, we're like, all right, fine, I made a mistake, I double clicked, I shouldn't have done that because that created a clip. I'll just right click instead how you do it the way you do it now and click create to make a pattern. It makes a clip again. It's, uh, it's almost impossible to make a pattern. Peek at the controller quickly in the song view and make sure that you get back into section view. You can also notice on the software here, I'm, I'm, I'm clicking section, clip, section, clip, section, clip, section, clip, section. See the difference? When we're in section, we have this slight highlight of the selected scene. And that's all it takes. Now it's back to normal. The only thing we have to do is avoid double clicking to make a new pattern. We have to instead right click and press create because now it will make a pattern and not a clip. Hmm, just like the good old days. I hope this clarifies things a little bit. I know it can be very confusing. If you appreciated this, if I somewhat helped you out, you know what I'm saying, consider becoming a Patreon or uh, maybe checking out the Machine Noobs Mastery School. Link in the description right here. Which, by the way, you will get for free along with tons of other stuff. You get all the sound kits, the upcoming sound kits before anyone else and for free. You get stems from shit I make here on the channel. And right now, Mr. Me is working on the best VST plugin in the world. So whenever I'm done with that, you will get it for free as well if you're a patron. Speaking of which, shout out to all the patrons I already have. Big one appreciation. Join us in the black hole also, the Discord for the weekly beat challenges. And uh, that is it for today. Okay, bye-bye.